Welcome, welcome one and all. It's another wrap up. This one's for Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park World. Oh fuck, Jurassic Park World. I keep forgetting that that's a, th- a thing now. I, I think I coined it. I don't know if I really coined it, but I'm, I'm minting it. Yeah. We'll say that. So we're going to talk about kind of some of the stuff that got left out of uh, the Sharp Decline video for one reason or another, um, and then give our reactions to Dominion. What? 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 And the whole time, we're going to be playing some sweet, sweet Jurassic Park Trespasser. Yeah, this came out in uh, 1998. Yeah, they really like put a lot of plot in this game. This was supposed to... This was like really ambitious for the time, I will say. I was about to say, it looks really great for this era. I guess, you know, how we should start it off is... I don't, I don't know if this is how I poised... Posed? Posed. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'm literally Mikey from the Goonies. I was just trying to delete myself. Uh, di- dictate myself. Let's delude yourself, dummy. But pose the idea of this video to you, but in my humble opinion, I believe that Jurassic Park, the original 1993 film, is the greatest action movie ever made. Ooh. Hot take, but I'm I'm interested. Tell me more. Because here's here's my thing about it. Take almost any other action movie concept there is, and you can kind of like remake it in one way or another, and it's not like an exact ripoff, you know? Right. Like there's so many movies that's like, okay, this is just die hard repurposed or you know, whatever. But with Jurassic Park if you try to copy that it's in Jurassic any Park. way, people are like, oh, this is a Jurassic Park ripoff. Yeah. I don't think there was like a ton that we were going to say about Jurassic Park in general just because it is just semi-flawless. Um, yeah. I don't I don't think unnecessarily and definitely somewhat facetiously, but we referred to Spielberg along with Colin Trevorrow, and that is not facetiously. That is 100% honest. You're not thinking as an adult at all. Right. Uh, it's like, what would be awesome? Yeah. <laughs> and then let's do that. Uh, but as, as, as like a, what, a man child, I think. And it's not inaccurate. Look at, look at that one, Kelly. Look at that one. Quickly. Ah! But I want to make sure everybody knows, like, we give Spielberg his props because yeah, he's a phenomenal filmmaker on multiple levels. Yeah, oh, shit. Lost. Crash, right. Jack Shepard. You have to do it. I shut you down, John. When we decided that we were going to make this the next Sharp to Client video, I went back and read Jurassic Park and The Lost World. Um, and Jurassic Park is really, really good. It's, like, really fun. It's really engaging. Uh, it's quick. But it is, like, very scientific. There's a lot of, like, charts and graphs and stuff, and he really kind of, like, brings that science to life. Hey, Addison, check your health real quick. Uh, let me see. How am I doing? Oh, yeah. I'm Dude. doing real good. Dude. Mm. Yeah, so this was their way of... The tattoo. <laughs> this was their way of, of getting rid of the HUD to be, like, more cinematic. The titty display. <laughs> they just went for it, The dude. tits up display. That's yeah. insane. I mean, I would honestly just, like, pretty much have to use the exact, I think, phrasing that we used in Sharp Decline, but it's like, I think he saw that fucking roller coaster aspect of right. it, of, like, make it a ride, you know? Yeah. And I, I think as far as an adaptation goes, somebody could have taken that and, like, made a somewhat faithful adaptation of it, but it wouldn't necessarily have been, like, an exciting like, movie. Right. You can use your hand to move and carry out. Oh, this one? <laughs> this one right I love here. how it's like a, how you're wielding some tool, but it's your arm. <laughs> you, I, I looked up some stuff on this game, and you can see like when they zoom out of the actual character, the whole character model is just the titty, torso, and, <laughs> and one arm. In the book, one thing that's very different is that Hammond is like fucking cutthroat. 
Right. Like, yeah, he's like a bad guy, straight up bad guy. Very much so. Like, he just wants the part to succeed, doesn't really care how it happens, and he doesn't really see anything as too much of a setback to have to call it quits. Like, he's always like, okay, that's okay, we can learn from this, we can keep going, even when other people are telling him the opposite. And I think kind of taking a bunch of those lines, even, I think a lot of kind of like... Uh, what is this? Why can I never... Gennaro? Oh, the lawyer. The lawyer. I cannot remember his name ever. But I think he has some lines that are like almost word for word the lines from the book, but they're Hammond's lines in the book. Right. And so I think like little tweaks like that is where he he really made it shine. Something that I don't know, it was just kind of goofy to me. is like there's like descriptions of raptors like raiding like bean. <laughs> Fields. For the lysine. Yeah, because they are, like, lysine deficient. But that's just, like, fucking silly as fuck because, like, I've seen the movies, there are these vicious predators, and then just imagining them, like, gnawing on beans and stuff. Yeah, it's just, like, super goofy. I don't know. Oh, but... no, the raptor's in the beans again! Um, <laughs> he also has this amazing description uh, of a T-Rex at one point. They, like, see the T-Rex... But he, like, describes it as he's sitting with his legs out in front of him, asleep, like, under a tree. <laughs> like, leaning against a tree. Yeah, and so you just, like, <laughs> I just don't know, like, how he thought of that and was like, oh, this ferocious predator. <laughs> just picturing that. When you told me that, I, was, I couldn't contain myself. Coco's one of the Cinco Muertes, maybe. Oh. Oh. Cinco Muertes. Vince Vaughn warned me about this place. <laughs> see, 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 see. See, see, see. See, see, see. But there was a deleted scene that we saw in The Lost World. <laughs> a work of art. It's not even a, just a deleted scene. So Spielberg had this idea for this character where he was going to give him... The Hunter. Yeah, his own spinoff or something. He's being uh, approached for a job. And he's talking to this guy. And while this is going on, there's... a uh, a group of Americans being loud and raucous and drinking and they began harassing this waitress and so the guy's kind of like oh give me one minute like pauses his conversation and goes over and has like the worst written exchange imaginable so what do I have to do to pick a fight with you uh, bring your mother into it Oh, oh, that hurts. Are you I think kidding? That's my mother's shirt. I could take you with one hand tied down. <laughs> oh, is that so? Yeah. And then it cuts to them, and they actually have, he actually has his arm tied behind his back. And then they begin to fight. <laughs> <laughs> and what at first is just your very standard, yeah, like Indiana Jones, Steven Spielberg, fist fight. Yeah, like, yeah. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Ah, oh. He then grabs the American dude by the nose, like Whoop. Three Stooges uh -huh. style, and then goes back to the conversation yeah, with see. his assistant, you know, does his little like... Yeah. Uh, all right, but what were you saying? Uh -huh. uh, and it's so fucking so horrible. So bad. We were talking about uh, ILM and just the giving them their their, their props. the literal magic um, yeah. that they created with a lot of this stuff. And um, you know, we were watching the behind the scenes and just looking at all the technology that they were making for these movies and everything. And we noticed a a bit of a trend that these guys are all fucking freaks freaks <laughs> they just kept talking about the jiggle the jiggle we wanted to see stuff jiggle the way it would and, and, and you know the jiggle when a big thick dinosaur takes a step and mm. then there's those reverberations mm. of cellulitis say it again <laughs> they're creating new technology to jiggle that's the thing so for anybody who wonders what the fuck we're talking about the guys at ilm did not just like create this dinosaur model and paint some skin on it they were like these things have to move realistically um you should be able to see the musculature and everything and so they actually went in and built them out as like a real um animal like anatomically with all that muscle and stuff but yeah it got into this very strange where like the first time they mentioned it 
I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, you I, wanted I, to that's jiggle. kind of funny. Like, yeah, you wanted to jiggle, but okay. And they kept bringing it up <laughs> in know? different, multiple different people in multiple different interviews yep. across multiple different featurettes. They've got a bit of wiggle and jiggle to them. There's jiggle in the neck. You can see what we're calling muscle rigs, muscle and jiggle rigs. Skin simulations to make all the skin jiggle. jiggle. Try swinging the baseball bat. Where's the baseball oh, bat? Oh, right there oh, on the right. ground, I think. Ooh, okay. Okay. How do I, what? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Get him. <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> like some Jose Canseco fucking swinging, man. Look out. We were thinking between this or Jurassic Park Warpath, which is a, a fighting game. And now I'm thinking this might be a little ridiculous. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. The other trend that we did, technically did mention, but that we wanted to kind of come back to a little bit, was the consistent inclusion of child characters. You got to have a little kid character in your Jurassic Park World movie. We all know that. But just like, you know, the Jurassic Park World movies, not all the child characters are slappers, you know. They're, some not are better, all are some are better than others. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do our patented Jurassic Park child character tier list. Yes. So we got Lex and Tim. Are they together or are we putting them separate? Because I would say, like, if you're if you're just going separately, Lex is a little bit more valuable than Tim. Tim doesn't really do much. He's he's more of a liability. I guess I'm just going more on likability. <laughs> they're both they're a similar likability. Yeah, because I would say just I would they, say S A. I'll throw them together on S probably. Okay. But okay, yeah. If you really hate Timmy that much, like, well, you know. To be fair, like, no. climb down the fucking fence, climb motherfucker. Down the climb down the fence. It. Like, dude, come on. It's not that hard. He's a fucking ball of energy the whole movie until he's got to fucking hoof it down a fucking electric fence. That's what I mean. All right, yeah, he is an A. Fuck he, him. He's going to get you eaten. That's, yeah. Fuck you, Tim. You don't yeah. deserve S tier, like your sister with her hacking skills. He tries to call out Grant on his, like, dino knowledge, and it's like, dude, you read a picture book about dinosaurs you don't know what you're talking about i didn't realize that you had this just <laughs> well we're ranking them you okay know, we're, i on. just feel like this is coming from somewhere is this why you wanted to do the ranking <laughs> is just to be able to talk shit about him on a i just feel you got like... me riled up but now i'm now i'm now i'm like okay i don't know if it's I'm lex as... and tim it's not not tim, tim and lex <laughs> Is what I'm saying, basically. Touche. Kelly. Mm. I feel like the actress is good, so you don't notice as much. But the character itself is kind of that annoying, precocious kid trope yes. thing. It is Jurassic Park World. I think she's B. I, I think I agree. I think I'm good with B. Ben is up next. I, oh, I forgot about Ben. No, wait. It, it's not Ben. It's, it's, um, it is Ben. It's not Ben. Derek. No, is it Ben? Ben <laughs> and Billy? I'm thinking of Billy. Ben is going D probably for me. What about Eric? They try to make him badass. He's got like the tear gas or whatever the fuck that little yes. stunt is. He survived on the island by himself for a little bit, I guess. That's, but he's like the whole reason everyone has to go out there and almost get killed. He gets multiple people killed going to rescue him. Jesus. Just for, think about it. I, I mean. Think about it. Okay. Should Ben be on trial? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Eric! 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 What? It doesn't feel like your arm is like a part of your body. It feels like something you're <laughs> wielding. It's just an eel. That it feels you have like the it, tail of. It feels like you have a weapon holding your weapon. Then we got Gray and. Do you want to look his name? I have no clue what that character's name Watch is. Watch it be Zach. I bet it's Zach. I don't think it is. Oh my god, fuck, you're right. Zach. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, that didn't seem right. But okay. All right. Sure. Okay. Zach. Yeah. I for me, they're fucking F. They're F. F. They've got to be F. That older brother's the worst. He's the worst because he has no definable qualities other than being like bratty, kind of like moody a, teen. A thing boy in guy. movies now. I said I didn't go past the bridge. Not my mom. I'm a clone of my mom. You're not my mom. I am. Yeah. <laughs> but they may, they tried to give 
gray all the personality and like traits i guess and they ended up just making him really annoying and really He's so um, fucking annoying just doesn't shut up it's always these like little factoids that he just spits out for no reason and then they uh, clearly they must be an f tier because they never get brought back they never get mentioned again no, in any of the back. Ju- no they didn't they're not in fallen kingdom at all not at all to be fair whack-ass characters <laughs> annoying as fuck i wouldn't bring them back either think about it well yeah which of the child characters did get brought back lex and tim they're, they're the only Extent, ones uh grand clone oh yeah oh wait is that just another fucking billboard damn it i thought it was a building i did too oh this was the billboard we just walked by is it really yes. oh my god <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, we forgot to rank Grant Clone. That's what I was going to say. Grand Perfect Clone. segue. Yeah. Um, uh, I kind of feel like she's like maybe like D. D. I agree. I think I was more upset though that after Jurassic World, they never brought back the pig trainer. Everyone's favorite character. See, when the pig gets out, you got to wrangle the pig. Well, most importantly, when the pig gets out, you have to yell, Pig, pig loose! loose! Yeah, and you gotta push the button. My man slammed that motherfucker with his thumb. He's working his thumb out before that shot. He was like, "We're gonna, oh god, I'm gonna mash this button so fucking hard." When Claire and Owen are like chasing the Irex, they come across piles of its shit, I guess, or some dinosaur shit. Yeah, some dinosaur shit. Their plan to hide, I guess, from the Irex is to cover themselves in the shit. Yeah. To mask their smell. And then Colin Trevorrow said, what if we made it hot? No, 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 no. So there's like a really disturbing shot of like Claire's like leg as her. Yeah. She she like hitches up her dress or whatever. Like, yeah, rubs him shit on her and then she's like rubbing shit on her chest, on her chest. <laughs> um yeah. and yeah it's just like immediate um sentence to horny jail like that is so fucking gross and just like why did you try this i know it's a deleted scene but it shouldn't even have been shot it's a flay it's just a flagrant doo-doo kink yeah you know, i'm not gonna yes. kink shame yeah um, but you put your doo-doo kink in your family friendly action movie Hello? Derek Connolly and Colin Trevor report to Horny Jail right now. Seriously? <laughs> no. No! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, oh shit. shit, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Where's your bat, dude? I don't have it. Uh oh. Get back. You can't just hit it? You can't no. use your arm to just hit it? Damn, you can't even wield your own arm. <laughs> Another thing that, that we wanted to talk about from Fallen Kingdom, you might remember it better, but Claire Deering is talking to Lockwood when she first comes to his home. He's showing her, it's like a model of the sanctuary where he's planning on taking all the rescued dinosaurs from right. the volcanic eruption. And he's like, oh, look at this thing we're planning. No cages, no fences. It's just like John Hammond dream excuse me that wasn't his me? that wasn't his dream but his dream was to make an amusement park of dinosaurs that were fenced in by electric highly <laughs> electrified fences yeah after that failed miserably he was like well maybe we could just leave them there that's but that wasn't really his dream though yeah no his dream was the flea circus he like talked about it he's like a fucking venture capitalist yeah he's in it for the bucks (laughs) y'all i'm just gonna go under the oh shit hell yeah (laughs) oh god uh, we're about to get trampled to uh, death. Oh shit! Uh, how are my titties doing? Oh, oh no, you're about you're the titties. No! Oh! Did we put in the clip where for the BTS where the person's like they're auctioning off these dinosaurs that you've known and loved? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Like the auction sequence begins as just this scary moment in which the dinosaurs that you've known and loved are going to be sold off. These are just CGI things that you've 
peppered throughout these movies. I have no fucking attachment <laughs> to the fucking stegosaurus that you're going to auction off in this scene. What are you talking about? This is John Hammond's Lost World. This is John Hammond's Jurassic World Dominion. Yeah, so they start Dominion with this Mosasaur attack. And it just kind of comes out of nowhere. Like, there's no buildup to it. Oh, there's no preamble. There's, yeah, there's no there's cool shot. There's nothing. Okay, where's that fucker at? I know. Oh, he's right there. Should I go beat him? Oh, he's coming to you. He's coming to you. He's coming to you. Uh, Come on, bitch. I think like you're just going to beat this thing to death with a baseball bat. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yo, this game is nuts. You just cracked that thing in the mouth and its brain blew up. One time. Holy shit. And then it cuts right to the news clip. It's like a fake now this. I mean, it actually is now this. Yeah, it's literally now this. And they just, that again, that's their exposition. The public remains skeptical. Some destroy them. them. <laughs> <laughs> Easily the most popular option. Oh, a gun. Oh, a thank gun! God. Wait, but if, dude, that can kill like the Brachiosaur. I know, right? <laughs> if a bat can take out a fucking Velociraptor in one hit. Damn, I'm kind of sad that's it for the baseball bat, though. It was so fucking powerful. I might go grab it again if I. Yeah, it's all, it's unfortunate we only have one hand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. I was about to say, Wait, but there's no like reticle. It? I know. And it hasn't told me how to fire. It's yet. not space bar? Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh. Oh, wait. Wait. It's still going. You just used all your bullets. Oh, it's still going. And it just is, it's killing you with the side of its body. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, I guess this is his cartoonishly manly entrance. Is he's like, he's a cowboy. Oh, my God, it is. He's a cowboy now. He didn't just drive motorcycles or stuff. He can ride a horse and lasso with the best of them. At first, when we were watching it, I was like, okay, well, this kind of proves our theory wrong from the video where we said there's maximum these three scenarios. I assumed this whole movie was going to be scenario three, which is dinosaurs in the mainland doing stuff in the modern world. And that's what I assumed this was going to be. Like, yes. how do people deal with dinosaurs? And literally all of that is in that first now this clip yeah. at the beginning. That's the only time you see any of that stuff. That's the only time any of that's even like brought up, really. Like dinosaurs being in the around people in the modern world is not a part of this plot or this movie at all. It has nothing to do with the movie. Literally nothing. Yeah, I'd rather just be using the bat. But there's no reticle. That's the thing. It just kind of wildly points somewhere. <laughs> Insanity. Like there's no yeah there's no option like lock on or something no no nothing it's not even sitting in the center of the look look no, at where it's it just, is just look and look at where it's pointing four three what how empty oh you got it wild shot but what the fuck when we were watching it I was like oh this breaks our theory. But then at the, by the end of it, I was like, this kind of proves our theory, actually. Yeah, because they could have made, like, fucking Scream and put dinosaurs randomly in it. You know, like, they could <laughs> yep. have made any movie because they didn't make a Jurassic World, Jurassic Park World movie. No. This is not a Jurassic Park World movie. This is some weird amalgamation of other movies that you've seen. With um, dinosaurs. With dinosaurs in it. Yeah. And so it's, yeah, like, yeah, like, I feel like, yeah, you could have jumbled together a fuck ton of other different random movies and just randomly thrown dinosaurs in them because that's exactly what they fucking did here wait do i still have it no, no. what the hell what where's the bat i think it's uphill yeah let's make sure we play a game that works this time. is insane and then we jump to 900 different locations in the first like 20 minutes it just keeps throwing up titles. We're constantly going to different... Like, we yeah. we see some character from the last movie. We go to a new location. We see the character... Another character from the last movie. We go to a new location. Okay, now we're in a new location, and those two characters are together, and they go to a new location. And it's just like, holy fucking shit, what is this movie? Like, yeah. it's, it's all not over the born the supremacy. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally all over the place, globally. Hey, what's up? We found the literal site B. Hey. <laughs> Site B. They said, Welcome to the engine Site B research <laughs> facility. 
Oh, dude, get up there. We can train raptors from up there. <laughs> Eyes on me. But I think what I maybe hate more than the, you know, geographic whiplash you get is, again, like, I th- I thought it was fucking lame when they turned Claire Deering into, like, a Greenpeace activist. Yeah. But that was semi-believable yeah. compared to her now being, like, a fucking uh, eco-terrorist. Like, uh, Whale Wars. What was that yeah. dude's name? Like, Paul Watson or something? Yeah, she's in the Dinosaur Liberation Front. Yeah. And she's like, they're breaking into these black market breeding facilities in all black ski masks and shit. Except even to the point that the people with her are like, hold up, homie. Like, yeah, she's she's so gung ho about it that she's actually not very good at it because they find this this black market breeding site and they're like, okay, we can tell everybody where it is and they'll come bust this place up. And Claire's like, or we could save this one terrible baby triceratops animatronic out of 12 or however like many there yeah. that they have. We really. could save this one right now. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit. They said next level. Wait, they took my bat. No way. You Nope, know, you're not supposed to have it. You're not supposed to have it. There'll be another. You get a fucking yeah. machine gun now. Can I get a machine bat? Can I <laughs> launch bats at these fucking things? An idea brought me awake one morning in New York. I almost didn't write it down. Dinosaur semen. <laughs> Tons of it. <laughs> Flooded my apartment. What if a mosquito sucked the Boop. blood of a dinosaur? <laughs> One, <100. laughs> One thing that we noticed in this movie is there's a lot of is like, like the actor not really being aware of what yeah. was going to be happening as far as the CGI. The integration of the CGI and the live action is really bad. Like they really did not take time to even communicate to the actors yeah really like what's block going it on. out kind of yeah um, no fight the stegosaurus instead will they fight Ooh. Ooh, oh they shit. are <gasps> wait did it just no oh no oh dude he got in the jugular oh, god, shit. oh jesus christ oh my god dude <laughs> i'm sorry stegosaurus what you got do addison go while you can run oh is that what you're <laughs> I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that motherfucker's giving his life for you, dog. He's fucking bleeding out of his throat. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Mr. Stegosaurus. Yeah, bro. But there's a few moments like that where people don't seem to be reacting in the right way or even like aware that there's supposed to be dinosaurs around them. Especially in this one scene where they go to like, I guess it's like a black market dinosaur market Place it's Mos Eisley. Or, it's Dino Mos Eisley. It, it looks like, I think you said it looks like something in Uncharted. And that's really what it, it's like a video game. Like when you go into Mosasaur Eisley. Get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so then at one point, some giant the dinosaurs the get loose, you know, and they're running around, and they're okay. They're all in this little, you know, enclosed space, and the, there's like a group of guys just watching Owen Grady fight, fist fight some dude. Yeah, and like we're cheering it on, while there's literally a dinosaurs, fifteen foot tall, twenty foot tall dinosaur eating people behind you, and they just you. have no reaction. Come here, come here. What do you what? Nice. <laughs> Look at that. Killer. <laughs> Look at this. What, what? <laughs> what was that? New movement tech drop. It's not even just a directing problem. It's clearly like a, a editor VFX problem, too, because in that same scene... You're a G for spotting this, by the way. In this same scene... They're watching, you know, Owen Grady fight this guy. And in the background, you see these two giant dinosaurs eating this guy. It cuts really quick for like half a second to another shot. And then back to that same angle. Yep. The dinosaurs are gone. The dinosaurs are nowhere to be seen. They're just gone. The background is empty because no one added the dinosaurs into that shot. Dude, rotate wrist is a control in this game. That's amazing. (laughs) <laughs> that's that's uh, that should be a sign when you're working on a game that your controls are fucked once you have a rotate wrist control that's hard that's hard to believe for me that no one involved in this movie was like hey that's the same angle where there's giant dinosaurs right there and again no one's reacting to it because no one cared enough about it to block it out and say okay here's where the dinosaurs are here's how the scene's gonna go it's almost like it was an afterthought the whole thing is an app ad- dinosaurs in 
Jurassic World Dominion are an afterthought. Are an afterthought. You know, they pop up. Occasionally, they'll get added to a scene that's already in progress. Yes. And it's like, here's oh, and, and here's dinosaurs. And dinosaurs. What? No! Oh, no. Some added drama here. <laughs> this is just like the movies. Okay, uh, where is it? Get it. Get it. Come on. Get it. Oh, my God. Get it. <laughs> There's this very strange scene in the beginning where Maisie leaves home and she goes into the city. There's these loggers who there's like a Brachiosaurus on their logging site and there's no audio. She just whispers in some dude's ear and then next thing we see one of the loggers like climbs up on this truck with a flare and the dinosaur starts following him down the road. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, thank you for giving me a flare to follow. I've got to say, like, I think Laura Dern's Ellie Sattler these days leaves something to be desired. Something's uh, off about it. Do you two talk a lot? He slid into my DM. No. no. Fuck. No. no, no Fuck no, off. No, 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 <laughs> Fuck no, off. No. Please give these actors some dignity, for God's sake. Yeah, that one hurt. That is a particularly egregious part of this movie. So this movie includes a lot of, I would, I'd say millennial slang, mostly with one character. And yeah, so it's, it's like, mostly okay, Kate, Kayla, or Kay, whatever her name is. I, I don't know any of the characters <laughs> in this franchise, apparently. And okay, so she talks like this, but then Laura Dern says that. And, and it's just that just one like, thing. It just pops out of nowhere. But it pops out of nowhere <laughs> like a fucking jack in the box. Yo, it's where crazy. Am I Hit shift, rotate that wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Look where she's pointing this gun. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I love this so much. This game is so fucked. But yeah, every dinosaur can be stopped in their tracks with an outstretched hand. Yeah, it's either one of the two. It's a flare. Or an outstretched hand. That's how you really, control you can lead them different away. dinosaurs. You can lead them with a flare. Stop! He really did. <laughs> and it stopped him. Both. Every every dinosaur you can stop with an outstretched hand. Oh my! But what's happening? Why? why? Notice they only attacked once he put his hand down. <laughs> Dude, why? <laughs> it works. What the fuck is that? <laughs> that was a Star Wars creature. What it seems like to me is it's a size thing. Once a once it gets over a certain size, the hand uh, hand stop doesn't work. You have to use the flare. You have to use the flare on the big ones. But on most dinosaurs that are uh, about the size of a human or smaller, hands all you need. Hands on your knees. <laughs> hands on your knees. Keep on rocking in the free world. Nice. Yeah, and if you've never like trained a thing in your life, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, you thought Owen could control the raptors with the hand and stuff because he was their trainer. He's an expert, and he had trained kind of them yeah. to do that. Nope, that's just a dinosaur thing. Think how much easier of a time they would have had in all these Jurassic Park movies had they known. Get that hand up. Get a hand up. Get that hand up. They can't do anything he once said, you get that hand up. Don't move. It senses motion. It doesn't if you hold up a hand. Yeah. While you motion. It's bullshit. It's like not what anybody wants to be doing in a Jurassic Park game. No. Dude. Ah. ah. The one of the characters, the nerdy guy character, you know, he's like, oh, I got this job at the CIA. But then when they go see him at the CIA, it turns out they all got all the Jurassic World people got recruited to the CIA. I almost want you to just try some of this. I, dude, I will rage with the fury of a thousand suns, dude. I'm not doing this part. I can tell you that much. There's no fucking way. <laughs> I guess then we go to the Biosyn Preserve. And they had teased in the trailer that there was a new, bigger dinosaur. Bigger? Why do they always have to go bigger? 
And so you think the Giganatosaurus is going to get some, like, crazy introduction, like it kind of does in the trailer. Like, yeah. it's like, fl- there's flames, and it's dark, and yeah, it's like, the biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. That's not how it happens in the movie at all. They're flying in the helicopter, the guy who's kind of come to take them to the, the facility and introduce them to the whole, whole, whole place. He just mentions the Giganatosaurus, we then cut down to the island where the Giganatosaurus is asleep. <laughs> Sleeping on the ground. And then we cut back to the helicopter where they continue their conversation. Why does that happen? Yeah, it's like if, you know, in Jurassic Park, when they see the brontosaurus for the first time and Hammond mentions the T-Rex. Wait, you have a T-Rex? You have a T-Rex? It just cuts, cuts. to the T-Rex leaning up against the tree with its feet out. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then cuts right back. We could also, if you, if you don't want to do that, we could download War Time, <laughs> War Room. What is it? War Draft? War Path. War Path. Then we meet the head of Biosyn, and both of us immediately said... Tim Cook. Yeah. <laughs> it's Tim Cook. He's just Tim Cook. Yeah. Like, bar for bar, like... <laughs> word for word, bar for bar. Dobson! <laughs> leaving us. Tiny, fragile pocket. This tiny, fragile pocket, and here I come with my fucking strap. Uh, dude, hell yes, we're here to murder the lost world. It, it's like Colin Trevorrow had some kind of weird beef with Apple or Tim Cook or something, because his whole character in this movie is like a Tim Cook parody. Colin Trevorrow just still can't get that U2 album off his phone. <laughs> Lindstrap guns, by the way. Swedish made. <laughs> he started talking about the I guns. <laughs> My man Hammond was like, I stay strapped up. Five, four, three, two, one. Is it dead? Oh, it's, yeah, it's been dead. Oh, what the fuck? You got another one attacking you. And then one of my favorite bars. Unforeseen consequences occur. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He read the fuck out of those lines. Is what that he's one doing. line in particular. And it's a different shot, too. It like cuts to this different shot. I'm like, did he do a whole take it's, in this voice? Like, it's from a different take, 100%. <laughs> occur. Occur. Look at me. And look at you. <laughs> <laughs> he said, look at you. <laughs> I love this fucking guy. The only thing that makes the money we spent to watch this movie, like, worth it. Do you want to play a little bit of this? Because if not, we should play Warpath. Yeah, let me give it a shot. He's like, let me out of this lab. I've been locked in here for... <laughs> let me out of this franchise. God damn, please. <laughs> and then at about, what, like the hour 20 mark... We start a completely different film. I will say real quick, you actually called it. I feel like we're about to get a vastly different movie for the last, like, third of this. Like, starting right now. <laughs> maybe. maybe. Like, we're getting a, we're getting script number two. Yeah, or maybe. four. It feels about half. Wait. What the fuck? I know. But yeah, so she's dangling, yeah, from the tree in the parachute, sees the deer, oh, it's so nice. And then this massive dinosaur comes walking by her, seems to be indifferent to her presence, and then it just slaps the ever-loving fuck out of this deer. <laughs> like a car, like a funny, like, whoops. <laughs> That's how it gets predators away from it it's just like bitch slaps shit out of them and it does it multiple times like that's its main that's its defense is like slap the fuck out of we then switch over to owen and kayla because there was only one parachute in the plane they have just gone down with the plane crashed, crashed into the icy into a frozen lake and they walk out of it like they were just in a fucking sandwich shop <laughs> like full-on fucking plane crash and they don't even look like tired or dazed or not a limp not like holding their head or n- nothing they no just g- get out of that shit not like even they... like yeah clutching the ribs yeah, or something, something that we wouldn't be able to see like not even yeah a bloody mark on yeah. the under the jacket or so that's what i thought was gonna happen right. i thought there was gonna be one of those where kayla was like 
Oh, uh, it's action. fine. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, fine. it's fine. Don't, yeah. Um, but no, that doesn't, they're just fine. And then they encounter the fucking uh, American gladiator of dinosaurs <laughs> who, like, launches itself out of this ice, like, in the most hilarious fucking way. Slow-mo shot. Yeah. So Tim Cook sees that this lo- the locusts are out. They've escaped their thing. His recourse, his plan now is to, like, incinerate them all. He, he tries yeah. to burn them all, right? And bur- get rid of all the evidence. He literally drags the Hexapod Allies folder to the recycle bin on his desktop. No one can find out about this. I'm just going to name these files. Locust. Locust. My diabolical locust plague plan dot PDF. And so he tries to burn, incinerate all the locusts, and somehow they get out of yeah. the research lab and like, go flying they get around. Like, uh, they get like an extra burst of energy from the fire and break out of the room. What the fuck is this, dude? Dude, set, cut. <laughs> How? And go flying through the air on fire. On fire. It is a flaming swarm of locusts. Of living beings. That are like dying like they're dying one at intermittently a time, like but also, but also they're flying around on fire their w- wings work <laughs> while being burned well this is just for like i can't i like guys go to whitehouse.gov i have a <laughs> petition up to stop colin trevorrow from making films <laughs> the man is a menace okay guys he lit flying bugs on fire and said yes these would conceivably be able to fly over acres of woods and spread this flame this is an adult man who believes that (laughs) at least enough to put it in his film he should be stopped basically i I signed my name yeah everyone should go to (laughs) it's official he has to be stopped (laughs) <laughs> chasing him around the thing yeah just fuck, <laughs> fuck it dude I don't care kill me where is it where, where's I hate you it's been so much more time just like servicing this weird plot I also think it's very bizarre the amount of the story that revolves around the Grand Clone, this character that was, like, just barely introduced in the last movie. Like, not at all in the first movie. Not mentioned, no. not even thought of, let's be honest. Yep. Um, is barely in, like, the first half to the first two-thirds of, of Fallen Kingdom. And then is really, like, plays a part in the last act. And then she's just, like, the central fucking character. Yep. And apparently, like, the emotional climax of this movie is she's like, those are my parents. It's just so unbelievable. Yeah. And, and also, like, I don't give a fuck. Whenever she's like, they're my parents or whatever, and all oh, my... Do- I don't care. I don't care about these characters nope. at all. Especially like this. Like, especially in this very forced situation where there's no fucking chemistry. Most chemistry there is in that movie is between Jeff Goldblum and everyone. Every single person. <laughs> Take your top off. <laughs> but so, like, I guess kind of the the beginning of the climax, the ending climax of yeah. our movie is where all the dinosaurs have been given the order to come back to the sanctuary. And so there's a bunch of them there around the buildings. And so then they encounter what honestly should have been the fucking entrance for the Giganatosaurus. This scene where it comes out uh, with all the flame, the, the locust flames. The Giganotosaurus comes out, and they're all like, oh, don't move. Don't move. It's it's the scariest thing in the world. And then they immediately, like, run behind this car. The, the Giganotosaurus is, like, ten feet away from them, if, if that. Like, it could lunge at any one of them and get them. In a second. And watches them slowly hobble behind this car, and then they, they all get behind the car and crouch. And like, like, it did hiding? not just Yeah, like, it did not just watch you. <laughs> Be quiet. Oh, it's looking like... Like right at them it can see over the car it's just like this is so dumb did no one know where this dinosaur was gonna be when they were shooting it or did right Four. it's dead is it yep it's floating i know fuck you dead 
So they run from the Giganotosaurus, and then they run up into, like, the control building, and then they have to, like, shut something down, or... Shut... Turn something on, or shut something something down. We don't even know. We were joking about how much of a gimmick this has become. Like, There's, like, multiple things, too. Star Wars movies and stuff. It's all now just, like, oh, the antenna isn't working. We have to... Oh, the power isn't connected to the... Oh, the power is connected to the... You know? (laughs) No! 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 I'm gonna die! I'm dead! I'm fucking dead! God fucking damn it! <laughs> dude, I should have said A lost world is an fucking... evolutionary scenario. I know, dude, I'm about to lose my fucking mind. A lost world is a sort of... Just save as soon as you get over this hill. I can't hear him say this again. <laughs> you even were looking at the soundtrack, and Michael Giacchino does the music for this, and he always puts lame little jokes and puns and stuff in his score titles, and one of them was shut down the thing or turn the thing off or something like that. Gotta shut down the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, like, even, that's what it feels even like. Even the people involved in this movie are like, this is some trite ass shit right here and like i get it because there's somebody out there going like well they did that in the original jurassic park I'm like yes 30 years ago yeah that was the hot <laughs> new cool thing to do because yeah. technology but then he has the best or worst the best 100 <laughs> percent the best line pre-death pre-death line yeah i've ever heard um which is like i think there's like three at that point like Dilop, two or three dilophosauruses yeah, that have crowded around him and they're all yeah. Yeah. and he looks around and he says what's your story what <laughs> what <laughs> what's your story <laughs> <laughs> Is that something Tim Cook said or something? <laughs> TED talk. Why would anyone ever say that? anyone in any situation? Why would you say that? <laughs> it was just sidestepping up to you. Save, please. Hold on, please. No. I'm just gonna get a little closer. Please, no. I'm just gonna get a Save. little closer. Save it. <laughs> You wish I would. <laughs> Just you move another fucking <laughs> Save it! <laughs> but then, honestly, we get... We get to the real climax. The which creme is, de la creme. Which is a big dino fight, of course, as is tradition. Okay, so the gig and all, So the T-Rex comes up. They're about to, like, escape and leave the place. The T-Rex comes up. For no reason. For no reason. Recreates, you pointed out, the Jurassic oh Park logo, which is... I wanted to die. Yeah, that's, again, guys, whitehouse.gov. <laughs> stop Just, calling Trevorrow. The man is a menace. Stop him in his tracks, please, God. If we don't stop him... No, no one, one will. will. <laughs> Truly. So, yeah. So, he's in. The, the T-Rex shows up. The T-Rex shows up. Then the Giganotosaurus shows up. So, they're fighting around a bit. Yes. The Giganotosaurus fake kills the T-Rex. Yeah, which is amazing. Right. And it's all emotional. Emotional music playing. Then, the uh, while the T-Rex is down, the bitch Slapasaurus steps out. Yes. And is like, ooh, I'm ready to go. Let's What's go. up? What's up? So, then the T-Rex... Surprise, surprise, just wakes up, yeah, out of nowhere. Terminator's back up. What? Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> Yo! Yeah! Yo. Fuck, dude, that was... And it instantly made the whole movie worth it. I was like, okay. Oh, we did love okay. it. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna freak out. No, dude, but you can't get... Come on! You do not see it coming. There's not even like a close-up shot of the of the cl- the outstretched claws, no, like light no. glinting off or something. Like it just fucking happens. Yeah, it's so awesome, dude. So good. And I, also, and I'm like, this is the kind of goofy dinosaur shenanigans that I was hoping maybe this movie would be. I was like, oh, this is gonna be so bad, funny bad. Yeah. What's funny to me is that I think that. Like, I mean, I've never met a single person like this in my life, and I've met some fucking weirdos, but, like, I don't know who these people are that are, like, was it the T-Rex from Isla Nublar? Was it the (laughs) T-Rex from Isla Sorna? They, like, made sure to, like... Drop the fact that they rescued the T Rex from Isla Sorn or Isla Nublar, sorry. So it's the same one. And like, 
I don't empty. care. Yep. Like, was I supposed to get sad when the Giganatosaurus fate killed it and you had its like eye open uh, and then it comes back and I'm supposed to be like, oh, yeah. Like, is right. that like Colin Trevorrow wants me ripping the fucking seats out and burning them <laughs> in the streets? Right. I don't fucking care. Right. It's a dinosaur. Right. Like, these movies are about dinosaurs, but they're about the characters and the people and like the plot. And I know that Colin Trevorrow doesn't know what any of those things are, but like it does fucking matter at a point, yep. not whether it's fucking Betsy or whatever. And it might not, you know, sometimes the effect of that lack of care in that direction might not show on the box office receipt or whatever. But I think yes. subconsciously it absolutely does play a role in whether something is influential and cultural or or well remembered 20 years later you know yeah well and and i was saying to you it's like i don't want to i don't want to use too like serious a term here but like i was saying to you it's like i was like borderline offended by by just the 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 flippant nature that this movie was made with because it's the antithesis of Jurassic Park which was made with so much fucking love and care and like attention to detail and the reason that CGI and everything still holds up is because these people were like we want to do these effects practical or CGI in the best way possible and what really matters is making this believable and it's gotten to this point where it's just like we don't fucking care if there were dinosaurs in the background of that shot last time. There aren't now. Yeah. Um, you know, like it's yeah. just like all this shit. Like they just don't fucking care. No. Oh wait, I think it hit the space bar. Okay, you still have it. I was just like, do you even have it anymore? Yeah, I do. You could look through my arm and see it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle this fucking game, dude. All this shit happens, and then there's this dumbass feel good uh, i say that with a question mark moment afterwards where there's like these planet earth shots of like the mosasaurus with some blue whales and you're like he's gonna eat those things it's gonna eat those <laughs> yeah it's, it's not it's chilling not, with them <laughs> it's not beautiful what chilling with other herds of different animals Triceratops with elephants it's like what is this and they literally they kind of like leave off on like so can we coexist with dinosaurs and you're like that's what we came into the movie <laughs> one that's what you were supposed to answer yeah that's how you were supposed to wrap up this fucking trilogy and then you forgot about that and we're like wait locusts yeah how about locusts how about a, a, a top secret agricultural domination plan by a by biosyn like i don't care they don't care anymore they've stopped caring and so have we honestly it, what 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 <laughs> look they're all what? doing it what what is <laughs> <laughs> This cannot be real. This cannot be real. I don't know, but I feel like it's going to be 100% a, a like all the shit they mirrored from these la uh, first trilogy of movies. It's going to mirror in the box office results too. And yeah. because Fallen Kingdom already did worse than uh, Jurassic World did. And I guarantee you Dominion is going to do worse than Fallen Kingdom. It even is like, I don't know how to make it over to you. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I don't. I don't get the controls either. Seven. In the butthole, dude. <laughs> Just straight up in the butthole. Oh my god. How are you not fucking dead? <laughs> you <laughs> lunatic. Oh, um. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's kind of wild. Like, 
that they released this you mean i mean i'm pissed i kind of at us i mean we did it to do our homework but i'm kind of pissed that we watched it twice because they're gonna like look at that data and be like people <laughs> some people loved it like yeah, at least clearly. one of those data points is wrong <laughs> we were making fun of you the whole time yeah I, we were talking about that too like how much of this movie's box office and streaming numbers are being held up by the youtube video essay industry yeah yeah you know? like, like, oh Six no minutes. oh my god What, you I got it? it? No, you did not. Four, three. I literally can't even just, see. Just go. He's, it doesn't even look like he's going to... Excuse me. Oh, my God. Well, I'm glad. I hope it's done for real. I'm glad we're done watching these fucking shitty Jurassic World movies. Yeah, same. We love you all. Love Thanks for you. joining us for another wrap-up. And uh, we'll see you soon for something uh, a little new. Ooh, something new we haven't done before. Ooh, see you then. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, bravo. Bravo. Yep. yep. Bravo. Fuck this. We're playing Warpath. Fight! We gotta make the audience rip out their seats in horniness and burn them in the street. Yeah. Manslaughter. Several, several counts of manslaughter. No shade to the Chechens out there, but I can't let you get close. Does it come across as unnatural? That's great. I love that. Hail Hexapod allies. That's like broke boy shit now. All the locusts. <laughs> nah, but it's Jurassic Park World. Do you know how many volts of electricity John Hammond dreamed that we would shoot through these dinosaurs? Yeah. Dre! Like, what the fuck is happening? We're your parents now. Coming at you with his Christian mingle tongue. They could hack me so hard. The jiggle. Tim! No, Tim! Murdering the dinosaurs? I love Jurassic movie dinosaur special. Homerish Welt. Saying, what the fuck is this? It can't go extinct. It's non-fungible. <laughs> I just hope it is dead. The fuck is that? Occur. Kayla, still not sure if that's her movie. We're I think that's going. her name. Did I say that's her movie? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Putting a doo-doo kink in all our children's heads for generations to come. Please stop. stop. Hey, son. Uh, hello. Hello. If you can hear me, congratulations. Way to go. Way to go. You made it through. You made it through. You spent all that time, and now you're done. You're dead.